Hey there, this is Matt Petrowski from ISO FileMaker Magazine. You'll find us on the web at FileMakerMagazine.com. This is a beginner's quick tip, and we're going to be taking a look at FileMaker's default layout parts. What does it provide us with? What do we need to keep? What do we need to throw away? What do we need to know? As a beginner, I'm going to tell you. Let's take a look at the file. All right, so here we have a brand new file that I have created by simply just going up to the file menu and choosing the create new. As I was shooting this video, or as of shooting this video, I am in FileMaker 17 right now, but a lot of the times the things that you learn in a specific version of FileMaker work all the way back from 13, 14, 15, all the way up and into the future. I'll tell you if it's a new feature. This has been a the situation for a long time. In fact, when we go into layout mode on an, a, a brand new file that we've created, FileMaker has some holdovers that we need to be aware of from previous versions. That's from a long time ago. And that is where FileMaker makes the assumption that you basically want to start a layout which would be potentially list view. Um, it doesn't really give you an option. The very first layout created on a file just has these parts, the header, the body right there, and then down at the bottom we have the footer. Now in most situations, unless you know that you want to create a list view as your first layout, you do not need all of these parts. These default layout parts are things that can go. So for example, we can have the header selected and just hit delete, select the footer, hit delete, and we're now ready to go with a form view. That's just from the standpoint of our design right now. Our solution, or this particular layout, isn't set up because FileMaker on the first layout that it creates by default has all of the different possible view modes. What are the possible view modes? Let's go into browse mode with command or control B and we'll take a look at this right here. We are able to view as a form, as a list, and as a table. So in other words, we can switch between all of these views. So this very first layout that FileMaker creates with those default layout parts may not suit your situation. In fact, most of the times, the first thing that I start with is a form view. So by taking a quick little trip up to the layouts menu and we go to the layout setup, we're going to see that we can control that in the area of views. It's this tab right here, and you can see that FileMaker by default has form view, list view, and table view. Well, my suggestion, set the default view that you're going to be using. In this case, I do want to use a form view, and I'll turn off list view and turn off table view. In fact, this is just a good tip in general to limit your layout so that they only show in the view that you intend. If it's a form view, form view. If it's list view, list view. And if you do use table view, then you use table view. Not as oftenly used that uh, table view. But what we're going to do is we're going to remove all of those parts. Now that's not always what we want to do and here is why. FileMaker added a new feature wherein they were supporting FileMaker Go or a mobile design. So let's see if I can do, I can't do some undo. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click, choose the part setup tool and I'm going to click on the create and I'm going to add that header back in just as if it was a list view. Now the one thing that's really bad about this situation is the fact that in FileMaker each part is distinct. In other words, I can't have an object that's going to traver uh, traverse both parts. I go into browse mode um, it will show the object, but in many times or sometimes it will get cut off, in particular if we are in list view right there. You can see that I go to list view and now that object, which is able to tra traverse both parts in form view, gets cut off right like that. Also in table view it won't even show. So what we want to do is we want to say if we're going to be designing something for a form view then what we're going to do is we're really not going to need that header. I would be able to hit the delete key and get rid of it but if I'm going to be using this solution on FileMaker Go on mobile on either a iPhone or an iPad, then I probably want to double click the header and change it to the top navigation. Now why FileMaker defaults to the header, body, and footer? It's just a holdover from all the way back when FileMaker used to do things. In fact, it would be nice if they gave us a preference in order to say I want all of my brand new layouts to start with a body part. But of course, your brand new layouts aren't always going to be something that you're going to create without having used the wizard. We'll take a look at that. Why this top navigation? Well, the reason that we want the top navigation is that this is the one part 
that on mobile cannot be scaled. It's set at a preset zoom value of 100% and the user cannot pinch and zoom. However, with the body part, the user can pinch and zoom unless we lock the view ratio to 100% or the view scale. That can be done with a script step. I believe it's the view as. You'll have to take a look at that and look in the documentation. But this top navigation also provides one other great feature and that is whatever color this top navigation is set for. In fact, if I go over to my view area and change my color to say a green color, that is the color that the title bar or the very top area on iOS that's in iPad or on a iPhone is going to be. In other words, the area where it has the time and the Wi-Fi signal and then also your carrier and what have you. The top navigation controls that. In fact, there are times where I have made this particular part super, super small by dragging it up just because I don't want it to be part of my design, but I still want to control the color of that top area on iOS. Otherwise, you can just leave it as part of your design, provided that you're not going to want to pass across the two boundaries and use that in list view. So what about that wizard that I mentioned? Well, every time that you go up to the layouts menu and you choose the new layout report, What's going to happen is if you choose one of these options, such as a touch device and on iPhone, when you choose one of the options of either form, list, or table, FileMaker will in fact limit that view. So if I choose a form view here and click finish, when I go into that area that we just became familiar with, the layout setup, then we're going to see under the views area that yes indeed FileMaker has not selected list view and table view as possible view options for this particular layout because we specifically said within the wizard that we are going to create a form view. Let's compare that to the option of going up to creating a new layout report not choosing anything but choosing basically to name this whatever I'll call it something random and then just simply clicking finish, which is an option. You don't have to choose one of those preset options within the FileMaker wizard. And lo and behold, what do we get? But we get the view that we get when the file is created brand new. The default that FileMaker goes with, with the header and the footer. So I would have to delete my header, delete my footer, footer just have a clean body. And I would also go up to the layout setup again. And then I would have to go to the views and then make sure that my view is set for form and I turn off list, turn off table and say OK. Of course, having done all of this, what is the easiest way to actually get a new form view versus a new list view? Use something that you already have. Going into my manage layouts, if I know that my new random layout here is going to be exactly what I want and it's already a form view, there we have it right there. That is the easiest option that we can have. You can use it on a layout that already has pre-existing design, or you can intentionally keep layouts up at the top where you actually call them form view. And then maybe this one might be list view. As I double click and rename these layouts, if I keep these as a template, and I'll add a little divider here or separator. If that is a template, all I have to do is just say duplicate and then go from there. I can always double click and then reassign where I'm going to show records from, from any other table occurrence. That would be my suggestion if you are a new FileMaker user with regards to FileMaker's default layout parts, getting rid of them, changing it to decide whatever view you're going to use. And then optionally, if you want, you can use the wizard and it will do that for you. This has been again a beginner's tip for FileMaker. I hope this has helped you out. Of course, if you're looking for more extensive information about FileMaker Pro, you can always check out my website, filemakermagazine.com. I hope this has helped you out. And until the next quick tip, much luck to you and happy FileMaking.